Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. It's good to be here as always. Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I've got a lot to get through this week. So uh, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the tech giveaway very shortly. And this week I'm going to be shaving with an above the tie Calypso razor with an M1 base plate. And I've got a new soap in the den as well. It arrived this morning. And I'm going to be using the Ninfeo di Vigeria from Wickham's. And uh, this smells lovely. Really looking forward to using that. And I've got a blade on its second use. And it is a Russian repairer blade. And uh, I quite like these and it's been quite a long time since I've used one. Now there's a little bit of a citrus hint to the shaving soap. So I've used my water soluble pre-shave oil from Executive Shaving with a lime patchouli scent. And I've just got that sat on my face. I've rubbed that in already and prepared. Now we'll start, I think, with, by announcing the winner of the giveaway, who has won this little restored tech. You can see, if I catch the light right, the case has come up quite nicely. And there is the tech inside. And the winner is Oliver Dice. I will put my email address in the description to this video. Oliver, if you get in touch with me, I'll get that sent out to you. Congratulations to you and thank you everybody that took part. I really appreciate it. So now onto the razor. The above the tie aluminium calypso. Let me just hold it close to the camera so you can see the knurling on the handle. It's got a very, very nice grip indeed, and it looks quite stunning with the black and the sort of, what colour would you call that blue? Maybe an electric blue? Anyway, looks quite stunning. And uh, I've had a couple of shaves with this, and it shaves very nicely indeed. We'll um, have a little look at the inside. It is... CNC machined, so as always there seems to be a couple of marks just on the inside of the cap there, hidden away. And there is the base plate a little bit closer, so you can see. We'll get the blade in there, second use on the repairer. fits together very nicely. Now one thing I noticed with the uh, silver colour of the blade, it really stands out against the black and the blue. Um, yeah, quite an interesting razor. Now I'm going to be using, I forgot to tell you which brush I'm going to be using. I've had it soaking down here. It's my Andreas Chironis brush with the high mountain white knot. And this is the first use of this soap from Wickham's. Ninfeo de Azuria. She was the nymph consort and counsellor to the second Sabine king of Rome, a Numa Pompilius. And uh, it smells lovely, this soap. Don't normally do a new razor and a new soap all in the same video, but I had to use this. Got it this morning. It's got top notes of a Malfi lemon. Uh, Something called galbanum, 
It's also got petit grain and bitter orange in the top notes. Now when I smell it you get a very short burst of citrus. And it's not a strong citrus, it's quite nice and then it and then it it merges into something completely different. It's got heart notes of fig leaf and lentisk. I think I'm saying that right, but I'm really not sure because I've never heard of that before. It is L-E-N-T-I-S-Q-U-E. Lentisk is that's how I'm saying it. And it uh, has base notes of wood and amber. And um, it does smell very interesting indeed. Its description is uh, says it's a sprightly green fragrance, opening with a short burst of citrus entwined with the creaminess of fig. And uh, yeah, it's just very interesting, very nice. So let's get a drop of water just on that brush. Let me wet my face again. I hope you've had a good week everybody. I really do. I've, uh, I've hurt myself a little bit this week. My wrist here is really painful. I uh, fell asleep and I don't know what I did in my sleep but when I woke up my arm there was just bright red and uh, it really hurts about here so Goodness only knows what I've done in my sleep. You know, this is a very interesting scent indeed. I don't know what half the ingredients are like. Galbanum and lentisk and petit grain. I've got no idea what that smells of. But it mixes together very well. And I have to say, I do like very much the scents that come from Wickham's. I don't know if you remember, but my sister bought me some samples um, last Christmas and I enjoyed all of them. I think that will do. Now, as I said, I have been enjoying this riser. Uh, above the tie, I do three base plates, an M, 
for mild, an R for regular, and an H for heavier growth. So this is the M, it is the solid bar, and uh, it is the most gentle of the solid bar line. And it is a gentle shape, but it is a very nice shape. I have had a little um, difficulty, is not quite the right word, but this is an, alumin an aluminium razor. And in total, it weighs 40 grams. Now, when you pick it up, it feels like you're holding practically nothing and that's the bit that's throwing me it's such a solid looking razor but when you hold it there's, there's hardly any weight to it and it's just been throwing me out a little bit but I have been having uh, some really really good shows with it. I find that the lightweight is very easy for me to shave with. It's nice and manoeuvrable and um, when I first used it I was really unsure but I've come over the last three or four shaves to quite like it. The M plate has a blade gap of 0.25 of a millimetre so it is quite gentle and that blade gap increases through the base plates. I would like to try the, um, the open cone base plate and I'd also really like to try the R for regular growth just to see what that is like in comparison. Now when you buy these they retail at um, 156 American dollars for the five piece razor. So you get the handle, the head cap and all three base plates for 156 American dollars. Um, I'm sorry for you British viewers, I've forgotten to convert that into uh, Great British Pounds. Um, but what I'll do is I'll convert, I'll convert it and I'll put the British price in the description of this video so that you'll be able to see. So there we go, you can buy um, all, three, all three plates or you can just buy the plate of your choosing in the three, you know, the three pieces uh, for 96 American dollars and again I'll convert that and put the price below so that you can see. This is a this is a very nice blade. This repairer. I haven't used a repairer for ages. Um, I'm finding this to be very smooth. Finding the angle on this razor has been really quite intuitive and quite easy. It, uh, I could see this becoming one of my uh, one of my favourite razors. I think it would make a great daily driver. It uh, is finished well. It all fits together very well. That blade is nice and tight. There's no chatter, and uh, it sings a little bit this razor, but I think that the lighter razors 
do have that quality about them. You really hear the noise of the blade cutting through your hair. It's made from 7075 aluminium. Now, I must admit, I don't really know what 7075 means in terms of grades of aluminium, but I have read around this and it seems to be that it's aircraft grade aluminium. And of course, what that means is that it's very strong and structurally sound. Um, so a good piece of kit. As I say, the one thing that really threw me was the weight. I kept picking it up. I'm kind of going like this and because it just felt odd, but I've gotten used to it now and yeah, I really like it. I really like it. It certainly makes a change from the uh, heavier stainless steel razors. Just have a drop of water from my clean bowl there. Let me just rinse that off. I don't think I'll do any more than a second pass, so I'll rinse this out a little bit so you can see the, the brush in its glory. I'll uh, rinse that out properly later on. There we are, we'll just put it there, up at the front. I bought mine there. Uh, I bought my Calypso second hand from uh, Gordon Clemens. Thank you, Gordon. I uh, got it for a really good price, got it for £50. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. The second hand market in Razors is a fantastic place. If you can't afford the full price, uh, you can hear that is just. Taking the hair down very nicely. I'm finding this to be a really comfortable shave and I'm finding that in terms of BBS I'm getting a very close shave, a very nice shave. Now the handle on this is three and a half inches long, so not super long, but of course with the head cap and the guard it comes in at a total of three and three quarter inches.
And uh, while I'm here, Shaven, I'd like to say thank you to Flash Boredom. I don't know if you watch Flash's Shaven channel. But uh, I've had a little swap of some razors with Graham. So uh, I have got coming up the Carve razor, a brass razor. That I'm very much looking forward to using and reviewing on the channel. And I've also got the Feather Popular, um, which will be very interesting to use in comparison with the more expensive Feather WSD-1 that I have. Um, so we've done a little swap. I've sent a couple of my razors off to South Wales and Graham or Flash has sent a couple to me and uh, I'm very grateful. Of course, it means I get to try a couple of razors and share my thoughts with you, so it keeps the channel going. Uh, and I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to try the Carve Razor. So that will be coming up at some point in the near future. But for now, this razor, I've really enjoyed it. As I say, I would really like to try the open comb version. I do prefer an open comb rather than a closed comb, generally. Um, so yeah, it would be good to try the M2 and also the R for regular growth. But, but that is a super razor. I really like it. I've come to like the weight of it. It suits me. Um, I've completely gotten used to it now. I find it to be super easy to use and very manoeuvrable. It's just a terrific razor. I really like it. I like the look of it especially. If they're knocked half an inch off their handle, for me it would be perfect. But there we go. You can't have everything in life, can you? Now, do you know, I've never been quite sure about um, how could you describe it, like a green fragrance, a fougere. That was the word I was trying to trying to get. I think there's a hint of a fougere with this, it, but it's very. It's not like anything I've ever smelled before. It's quite subtle. It's a subtle soap. Um, it feels beautiful on the skin, as as do all of the Wickham's nineteen twelve soaps. Um, yeah, I like this one. So, uh, not wanting to spoil that subtle scent, I am going to reach for my lucky tiger today. There we are, and um, let me tell you, I've had, I can feel I've had a really, really good shave today. Um, it's really close, but it's comfortable as well. You know, that's very nice indeed. I shaved with this razor on um, Sunday. I could have done without a shave on Monday. I had such a good shave with it. But, um, well, I had a shave anyway. <laughs> but yes, a nice razor. I like it. So, 
There we are. I hope you've enjoyed my little review of the Above the Tie Calypso razor. Just as a final note on this razor, this handle is terrific. The knurling on that is really, really deep. I don't know if you can see if I can catch it in the light, but it's a really good handle to hold and it's just a touch wider than most handles. Very comfortable. Yes, I like this razor, you might be able to tell. So that is all I've got for the moment. You take care of yourselves. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'd just like to say, Oliver, congratulations once again. Make sure you email me and I'll leave my address below. Take care now. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.